What's it, YouTube? This marks day one of my 100-day journey to dunking a basketball. I've always had dreams of being able to dunk, but I was always so lazy to start putting in the work. Ever since I started my freshman year of high school in August, I've continuously seen people my age being able to dunk. I've made every excuse you can think of. The excuse of being too short, the excuse of having bad knees, the excuse of not being born to dunk, everything you can think of. Eventually, you have to learn when to stop making excuses and just push yourself to where you want to be in life. In these clips you see, this is me attempting to dunk on nine feet, which is the highest I can consistently dunk a basketball at the moment. In this clip I raise the goal to nine foot five to track my progress of where I'm at. Me grabbing rim on nine foot five. So close. This time I raise the goal to ten feet. What the hell? Me grabbing rim on 10 feet. Oh. All right, it's time to start putting in work. I'm not going inside until I jump on this box 100 times. As you see, this is going to take a while. Twenty down, eighty more to go. I do it. My main goal while doing these box jumps was technique. Each jump I did I tried to make sure to jump off my tippy toes and land on my tippy toes. I also tried exploding off the ground as quick as possible. I felt it was starting to drizzle so I had to hurry up. I was getting mad tired. I had to take a break. Grind don't stop boy get the fuck up It started raining pretty bad so I got my shirt to cover up my phone so it wouldn't get wet. Eighty down, twenty more to go. I took a long break because I was preparing myself for a mental toughness challenge. I was about to do these last twenty jumps in a row with my legs feeling like noodles.
The storage maxed out on the last eight reps. Oh, dude! What the fuck? All right, man. I just finished. I just finished the workout, man. I think it was those last five reps where um, it had stopped the video because of um, my storage being too full. I think, and I wasn't able to get those last five reps, bro. But I finished the workout. I did it in its entirety. 100 box jumps. This is only day one. We got many, many more to go. And if you stayed until the end of this video, I really appreciate you, bro. Make sure you like it up, man. Make sure you follow this account, bro. Uh, we on the road to 10K uh, followers on TikTok, bro. Let's get there, man. Let's see how fast we can get there, man. I appreciate everybody that watched this video. If you can, bro, keep on watching until the end of my journey, bro. And just wait and just just wait how just wait how crazy my bounce get, bro. Just wait how crazy my bounce get. We're not fully done yet though, bro. We finna take off this weight vest and we finna see how bouncy I feel after the workout. We finna see how bouncy I feel, if I feel any bouncier. Because bro, when I when you take off the weight vest, bro, you instantly feel bouncier, bro. You instantly feel bouncier. All that extra weight is coming off you, bro. You you instantly feel like you you just got some more bounce, bro. So I'm finna see how it feels. When I take this weight vest on and try to dunk, all right? All right, we're going to try to dunk on nine first, and then we're going to go to nine and a half and see how it is. Hey! First try. Hold on. Hey! Oh, my God. I really surprised myself because it definitely didn't feel this easy before my workout. Hey. Hey. I tried one foot bounce. Hey. Oh. I'm not even bouncy off one foot like that, but I was still getting up there surprisingly. All right, let's try nine and a half. I slipped. Oh. Close enough for me. I'm tired as hell. I got dead legs. I got dead legs. I don't know about today, bro. But I can jelly. Watch this. <laughs> I wanted to try one more. Ah! Yo, look at my hands. I don't know if y'all can see it, bro, but my shit mad red. All right, but that's the end of this TikTok video, bro. Hard work beats talent, bro. I'll catch y'all in the next one.